The way the safety car period in Abu Dhabi was handled has been a controversial topic, with many people feeling that it wasn't fair or in accordance with the rulebook. Some even went as far as saying that F1 has become corrupt. McLaren CEO Zach Brown has analysed this assertion as quoted by Racer. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, has Formula One become corrupt? Brown began by suggesting that with time, those hurt by this controversy will get over it. I think with all controversies in sport, in time, as soon as the next season starts, the wound starts to heal. He, however, feels that the FIA needs to show intent in its investigation. I do think the FIA need to come out with a here's what happened, here's why we think it happened, here's what was right, here's what was wrong. Whatever they're going to come out with in the report and then show they've taken action to make sure it doesn't happen again. He then gave his thoughts on whether the sport is corrupt. Personal opinion, I don't think this was a malicious decision. So for those that might have a view of the sports corrupt, etc., I don't agree with that. He signed off by suggesting that the decision making could have been better, but what happened wasn't malicious. Do I think potentially a different decision could have been made? Yes, probably, but I want to wait and see what the FIA comes out with. But I don't think it was malicious and therefore I don't think it's corrupt. Fast feed. Australian Grand Prix Corporation Chief Executive Andrew Westacott accepted that the Novak Djokovic controversy is a massive global story and therefore it's brought focus on Melbourne. He further pointed out that since the 2020 Australian Grand Prix was cancelled, there have been 41 F1 events around the world staged, and in every one of those jurisdictions there have been different stages of the pandemic and different border entry conditions. In every one of those, Formula One has been able to operate and retain business continuity. It's a mandatory requirement for the sport and the travelling contingent to be compliant at the points of entry, and they'll be compliant at the point of entry in Australia and Melbourne. Ferrari Charles Leclerc has stated that when it comes to racing, I prefer to let brother Arthur Leclerc find his own way and to make progress on his own, which I think is very important in this sport. Sometimes, during a race weekend, when he's following my F1 race on TV, he spots things that maybe I've not noticed from inside the cockpit and he lets me know to try and help me. Which is always nice, so the support goes both ways. Pirelli's head of F1 and car racing, Mario Isola, has revealed that the F1 team said that the fixed tyre allocation system is quite good, we want to keep it for the future, so it was not our decision at the end to continue with this fixed allocation. The teams told us that if they have a fixed allocation and it is the same for everybody, there is no advantage for one or the other. They can start planning on this fixed allocation instead of spending time and resources and people to think about one more set of medium or one set less of soft. Alpine's Fernando Alonso feels that in terms of adaptation, he doesn't think there will be a big difference. It's just some hard work, harder than any other winter, because we will have to spend some more time in the simulator and together with the team. Has the decision making during the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix damaged F1's reputation? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.